And when you turn over $9 billion a year, your community should not look like it do. Your social economic conditions should not be as it is. Our black churches in this country, the black church turned over $300 billion a year. Now, I don't care what nobody say, man of God, God or not, ain't no preacher should be making $6 million a year. When there's homeless people out there, when there's hungry people out there, you should be investing those dollars back into the social and economic condition of the community. There's no ministry that should be taking in $50, $60 million a year. And the people in their parish are poor. That's a hustle if that's the case. That's a pimp game if that's the case. The black church to be involved with what's going on in the community where you got to separate church and state. I beg to differ with you. You might can say that in the Catholic Church. You might can say that in some of the other denominations, but the heart, the soul, and the very existence of the black people, the colored people, the African American people, from slavery to segregation to oppression has been the black church. It is the pillar of the black community. When our four parents were in slavery, they sung Zion song, songs to an unseen God somewhere far beyond in the blue ether that they felt was going to come and deliver them out of their oppression. When we went through slavery, when we went through a segregation, the theme centered around the church, we shall overcome the black church. So there's no possible way to separate the black church from the black people because it's our anchor, it's our foundation, our faith in an unseen God. Somewhere, somewhere out there that was going to deliver us from our oppression, that was going to deliver us from our troubles. So we cannot separate the black church from the black folks because our very existence has been our faith in an unseen God that rules in the heavens. And I got a problem. I got a problem when the black church is not doing anything actively for the social and economic change of our communities. And there may be some doing some, and I applaud you, but most of them not. Most of them just taking up an offering, getting money, and living in big houses. And that ain't what the black church is supposed to be doing. I got a problem with that. I got a problem. When I get up here, every preacher, let me get on these preachers, every preacher will get up and preach, will a man rob God? I'm so tired of hearing tired offers in the black church. Will a man rob God? Give your 10 cent out of every dollar to God. Well, if you're doing the work, and I believe you should support a ministry if you wanted that ministry, but if that church doing the work, people will give and support. They need to see what you're doing. Because I ask the question all the time, will a church rob God? Will a preacher rob God? Something's wrong with our churches. We're building 30, 40, 50 million dollar edifice across this country. And sitting in that congregation is poor folks. You know, I used to tell people all the time, the problem I got with the black church, black leadership, is on Sunday morning, these preachers get up and preach this great message of salvation. And I believe in salvation. I believe in the death, burial, and resurrection. I believe in redemption through the blood. I believe in that. But the problem I got, I tell people this all the time. Most of your black churches, if a man walking off the streets, a drug dealer, or a prostitute, and they hear an alcoholic. This great message of salvation in most of our black churches. And they come to the altar. The preacher proclaims, anybody wants the Lord, come to the altar. The preacher proclaims that. And they come down there and be saved. Hear the message of salvation. Truly accept Christ in their heart and become saved. I advocate to people that that man that was doing the drugs... That that, 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 prostitute. 
when they walk out their churches in the day, it's a changed man, a changed woman. By the scripture, they can't go back to their lifestyle. And that's how they made their livelihood. Most of your black churches can't even offer them a job when they walk out to church. Most of the people that sit in that church can't offer their own businesses to give them a job. So when this drug dealer that's pulling in two, three thousand dollars a day on the streets, part time, part time, when he accepts this God, this Christ that we're being preached to, because you know you got black churches on every corner. I've been across this country, and every place I go, I know I'm in the black community because there's three things there. There's a liquor store, a barbecue place, and a church. And most of the time you're going to find a barber shop there too. So there's four things you're going to find in black. A liquor store, a barbecue place, a church, and a barber shop. So you got churches all over the black community, but when that man accepts the message of salvation and he walks out of that church on that Sunday morning and he going to live a new life, he used to making two, three thousand dollars a day on the street on hustle. What are you going to do for his income? How are you going to pay his rent? How are you going to drive his car? And you know what most preachers tell them? Just pray. Trust the Lord. <laughs> Well, what I would say to those preachers, when you come out the Spirit and raise those offerings, just pray. Trust the Lord if don't nobody give you no money. You see, we in within our church, we don't have a system in place to meet the needs of the people. That's the point I'm trying to make. We got homeless people. We got folks sitting right in our churches on Sunday morning. They can't pay their rent on Monday morning. Ain't got no food in their house on Sunday nights. And the Lord lead these preachers to take these offerings, $100 lines, $250 lines. And when they take these offerings, they raising $30, $40, $50, a $100, a million dollars an offering. And you got folks walking out of that church in the house of the Lord that don't have nowhere to go, homeless. And these preachers walking out of here with $1,500, dollars $6,000 a Sunday as their salary. And the bigger churches walking out there with a half a million dollars, $250,000, $100,000 a Sunday as their salary. And these folks are in the church in need. What is the God they represent? I've never seen, we, we make God so weak. We make God so pitiful. We'll take an offering, a big offering, and we'll, in the name of the Lord, and we got very folks in our church homeless, and that same God that leads you to take an offering don't lead you to that person in the church that have needs. They don't lead you to that mother that got to feed her child tonight in that service when you come out the spirit and want to know, will a man rob God? Will a church rob God? Will the pastor rob God? Where is the love of God in the church? Where is the needs being met in the church for those people that have needs? See, this is why I got a problem when you got churches all over the black community. You got churches all over the black community and the needs are not being met. The social and economic conditions of our communities is not being met and the churches are falling down because they're bowing their knees to 30 pieces of silver and getting up crying holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. There's a passage in the scripture. Y'all done got me preaching now. There's a passage in the scripture that said, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. That came for, that came from the mouth of, mouth of Jesus. And he wasn't talking to the center. He wasn't talking to the politicians. He wasn't talking to the business leaders. He wasn't talking to the... Jesus was talking to the church leadership. He was talking to the preachers. He was talking to the pastors. Something's wrong when our church do not reach out for the social and economic conditions of our community to our youth when they are the pillar of the community. The largest gathering in the black community, it's the black church. 